So I want to send the same message to, to young women. Everything is possible. Uh, you get to do whatever you want if you work hard towards it. Uh My name is Hind Meshbel. Uh, I am a Chief Information Technology of CCR. So it has been almost one year and a half since I'm with um, CCR. Before that, I spent about five to six years within Allianz and Zurich uh, in Morocco. And before that, I spent about 12 years uh, with General Electric the healthcare division um, in the Paris region. And I worked there for on, mainly on project and program management and also um, on Lean Six Sigma where I was black belt for three years. So overall, my background is uh, in IT, project, program management and, and Lean Six Sigma. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Most, um, I, I almost uh, worked mostly with men uh, during my career. Right now in CCR, um, most of my team members are men. Overall in IT, we are three women on 30, so that's 10%. And in general, uh, yes, we found more men uh, than women in IT. I think it's come, it comes already uh, from college. In my time, um, there was more men than women in the te technology area. I think it's changing nowadays. Uh, I think we have we we find more girls and uh, working uh, on on the technology side, which is uh, of course uh, a very positive thing. Yeah, when I look backwards, I think in my in my uh, first. Uh, first two years of, uh, of my career, um, I felt to be specifically looked at in some, of course, in some specific circumstances as, as a young woman. And that really felt bad. <laughs> it really felt bad to me. Um, so yeah, I spoke about it and made sure it doesn't happen again. I strongly believe when we come to work, we come to work as men or women and one should not be looked at or, um, or behaving with as, as uh, with regards to gender or with regards to age you know these specificities should not matter and should not be uh, should not be considered when I first take my role uh, as a CIO I, I can see that um, sometimes my team members um, are not that comfortable, but it, it just disappears, it, it goes away after uh, a certain time. What matters is, is whether I'm achieving results or not, whether I'm able to drive uh, the team or not, to interact with stakeholders, my stakeholders, uh, appropriately or not, bring value to the business or not. This is what matters. at different characteristics, so gender, age, um, ethnicity, educational background, and so on. I think it's important to look at the overall. To women in the industry, I would like to say that whatever you want to do is possible. Whatever you want to be is possible. Uh, should not um, can take or consider a, a ceiling uh, uh, of glass thinking that because I'm a woman, I will not be able to take higher positions or I will not be able to have a family and at the same time have. There are several uh, examples of women holding senior positions, senior leadership positions, having also family and managing uh, the whole. It's difficult, it's not easy, but uh, it's very exciting and, and, and very interesting. So what I want to say is if you want something, just work towards it and, and know that it is possible and the world is changing.
to other women in my position um, to make themselves more visible, just to show the path to younger women so that they know that uh, technology is not only reserved to men, uh, that uh, women can do well in uh, senior uh, leadership roles in technology also. <laughs> And colleagues or to men in the industry I mean I just want to say just be open-minded uh, we are your peers it's okay I mean well and I've seen it many colleagues men colleagues are, are, are great uh, very very respectful very open-minded uh, I think there is a, an overall tendency uh, to accept more women at higher position The great thing about CCRE, there is a, a very uh, positive uh, environment. Work-life balance is, is, is quite easy to, to get. I mean, there, there are the, the, the foundations for it. Uh, it it's, it's, a, it's a positive environment. There is no fear. There is no, it's not a, a highly stressful environment. Uh, results are important and it is um, acknowledged by, by the management team. Um, that results are of course imp important but life balance is also respected uh, and this, this is excellent for women. Just look at the uh, executive committee. I didn't do the math but um, I think uh, we are close to 50% if not, uh, if not already at 50% women versus men. Also um, in, the, in the company I know there is um, a very high uh, attention given from the top management to ensure that women are treated equally and that uh, are represented, women are also represented um, as equally as possible. I want to just to insist um, on, on some key points. One is diversity is important. Diversity is important. Uh, for, for business, yeah? for performance, for efficiency, because diverse teams are better for problem solving, are better for, uh, for, for performance, but it's also more fair. And, and uh, when, when people are feeling comfortable in an environment, we as people are more engaged, we give more and, and also performance uh, comes out of it. And again, it's not only about gender, it's diversity at, at, a, at a higher level. I was part of a women network when I was in the early years of my career. I, I had the chance to see uh, senior women who came and spoke about their experience, how they manage life balance, how well, you know how they how they how was uh, their career path, and that kind of inspired me, and I, I understood that this is feasible. So I want to send the same message to to young women. Everything is possible. Uh, you get to do whatever you want if you work hard towards it. Uh, and uh, the world we are living in uh, right now is changing towards uh, diversity. And does it mean a lot to me? Well, uh, yes, of course it does. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it is important to be fair. Uh, it is important also for me uh, specifically to work in a diverse environment.